Hey there everybody, this is Amanda with the Sumter County Museum. If you're watching this video, you've probably been to one of our Backcountry Living History Days recently and received a take and make craft bag. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a church doll. Now if you received one of these make and take bags, the materials you would have been provided in that bag are very simple. You would have gotten a square handkerchief. You would have gotten some stuffing. And you would have received four pieces of ribbon. Three that are about 10 inches long and one that is about a foot and a half long. We want to save this long ribbon until the end. It's going to be the last knot that we make around the waist of our doll. Now, a little bit of history about the church doll. It was very popular during colonial times, and it was called a church doll because mothers would give these to their children to help keep them quiet during church. And if they were bringing their baby with them or a younger child, the mother might even put a sugar cube inside the head of the doll so that the baby could suck on it and not disturb the church service. Okay, so let's get started with our step one. So we want to take a corner of our handkerchief and about a half inch to an inch away from the edge. We want to bunch it up and we want to take one of our shorter ribbons and we want to tie a knot around this. Now, if you don't know how to tie a knot yet, that's okay. I bet that there is someone uh, in your house or another adult or an older sibling that could help you do this. So here's my first knot. You can see mine slipped off, but that's okay. I'm going to put it back on. Tighten it. All right. So I've got one hand started, and now I said I, I wanted to do a double knot. So I've got one, and now I'm going to tie a second one. And for right now, I'm going to leave those tails. I'm not going to cut off that extra ribbon because I might be able to make a bow with it. So now, we're going to make our other hand the exact same way. So we're going to all up that corner, take another one of our shorter ribbons. We're going to tie this in a knot about a half inch to an inch away from the edge of the cloth. We're going to tighten this. And we're going to knot it once. And we're going to double knot it because we don't want this to come undone. All right. So we have our arms. You may be wondering, how is that your arms? Well, let me show you. We're going to create the head now. So we've got the stuffing and we want to ball it up. And we want it to be about the size of a ping pong ball. So let's see. So I was kind of rolling it in my hands like this. All right, there we go. Now, halfway in between your hands and about a third of the way down the handkerchief is where you're going to create your head. And this stuffing is what makes your head. All right, so we're going to bring this right in here. We're going to cover our stuffing completely. With our handkerchief. All right. Then we're going to take our third shorter ribbon and we're going to tie it around the neck of our church doll. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can adjust this as you go. So I'm going to just under the head 
And it's a lot easier if you set it down on a flat surface to do your knots. So while it's done, I've got my head here, and I'm going to tie again. I want to tie a double knot. All right. And our last step is to take our longer ribbon and to make our waist. And you can adjust, try not to get any of those tails from any of the other ribbons bunched up in there. And we can adjust all of these things. And if you don't like what you've come up with so far, you can untie it and you can start again from the beginning. All right, so I'm gonna take my long ribbon and I'm going to tie it around my waist. So I'm going to set this down again because again, it's a lot easier to tie a knot around this if it's on a flat surface. So I'm going to double knot the ribbon around the waist, but I'm also going to tie a bow. Just to give it a, some decoration. Almost done. Okay, so tied my waist. Tied my waist. Let's look at it from this side. Let's look at that. I think that the other side looks better, but I need to adjust. I'm going to make a ribbon, excuse me, a bow on the back. So I've made a bow on the back here. And again, I'm just adjusting, I'm adjusting my doll. And I don't think that my that my ribbon is long enough to tie bows on the arms, but what I am going to do is I'm going to cut these at a bit of an angle. Then I'm going to do the other arm. a ribbon around the neck. I think that might be nice. Might be possible. Might be too short. So in that case, I'm going to cut this ribbon off too. Maybe make it a little bit longer. Now I'm going to uh, adjust my bow in the back. is my church doll. And 
then on the back, you can see that I've got a nice ribbon on the back of her dress. So this is just a very, very simple toy. And they may have made this out of handkerchiefs like we did, or chances are they probably made it out of scrap fabric that they had because they didn't have a store to go to to buy toys from. They were uh, left to making toys themselves with what they had around them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed Backcountry Day if you were able to come out to that. If you haven't been to a Backcountry Living History Day, we have several a year and uh, we have a complete uh, Carolina Backcountry Homestead in the back of the museum at 122 North Washington. Uh, if you'd like to give us a call and you have any questions, our number is 803-775-0908. We have a number of events throughout the year besides our backcountry events. We have exhibit openings, we have lectures, we have book signings, uh, we have performances and workshops and so much more. And we hope to see you at the museum very soon. And you can keep up with what we're doing by following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or you can find out what we're up to at our website, SumterCountyMuseum.org.